shocking story that could affect thousands of Americans and many here in Texas. A federal judge in Fort Worth has blocked a key part of the Affordable Care Act. This judge ruled that insurance companies do not have to cover preventative services for free. Joining us now is Michael Meslanka. He is a law professor at UNT Dallas. Professor, thanks so much for the time here. The Affordable Care Act was signed into law 13 years ago. Why is this argument just now reaching court? It's an interesting question. A lot of these uh, legal issues have been working their way through the system. This is a fairly new argument. And the argument is simply that the uh, responsibility for who is going to decide what sort of um, preventative measures are going to be uh, mandated in insurance policies under the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, was delegated not to government officials to decide. It was delegated to a group of private citizens, private medical professionals. And what the, the judge said was, that's a violation of separation of powers. It took a long time to get to this argument. The argument's been made. And now uh, that uh, provision, as you, as you pointed out, has now been stopped, and the government can no longer enforce it. So, so what does that mean to, to people who are signed up for any insurance under the Affordable Care Act? Are they going to have to start paying for these routine preventative uh, uh, visits they make to their doctor? Yeah, that's a good point. I'll make two quick points on that. Many of these uh, preventative, uh, preventative me measures are at zero cost, right? And a recent study showed that 60% of those who get their insurance through the Affordable Care Act, through Obamacare, actually make use of these measures. So the government can no longer dictate to an insurance company, you're going to have to offer these. Um, I think what's going to happen is, I think the government's going to appeal to the Court of Appeals, and they're going to say, put into place a stay, S-T-A-Y, a stay. And like, let's uh, uh, appeal it, but let's continue to allow people to have access to these wonderful measures that, again, many of them don't have to pay for. I think that's the way it's going to work out. And my bet would be that the appeals court would issue a stay while they determine the merits of any appeal. Well, that was my, my last question for you as well. So if a stay is issued in this case, what does this mean to people who are insured? They likely will not have to pay any type of uh, co-pays for preventative cases if, if they don't, uh, while this That's is being right. litigated, essentially? That's right. If a stay is issued, it's the status quo. Okay. Everything remains the same until the appeals court takes a look at what the judge in Amarillo did this afternoon. All right. Michael uh, Meslanka, thank you so much for your time. He's a law professor at UNT Dallas. We appreciate that. Quick reminder, you can find more information about this ruling on WFAA.com. Professor, thank you for that.